That's a big bear. Ooh. We're heading there to an island. A little bit marsh in here, but not bad at all because we're under a drought. Got to make sure I don't find any uh, deep spots. Pretty sure this is wild rice. I'm going to check this island out, which would normally be an island if the water were higher. <laughs> to possibly be a uh, future camping spot. The ground is definitely gushy. Whew, 96 degrees today. So, it'll feel good once we get into the shade. Just walking on the clumps of grass. Smoked. raspberries I don't know what else is on this island but uh, hopefully no bears I made it. Oh yeah. It's even got poison ivy. Cool thing is, I've got a new product brought to you by yours truly, Ryan Outdoors, that I will be demonstrating today to uh, combat poison ivy. Somebody must come out here and hunt. Oh my god. It is hot out. Firewood. I haven't found any super duper uh, wide open spots. Let's go here. We've potential spot to camp. Another marker. Oh my god. Spinal webs.
find somewhat of an open spot where we can have lunch and a potential future camp spot for this uh, really cool hammock I got coming in the mail. Let's gotta find a place that that's not too much place 90. That's about here actually, ain't too bad. That tree's dead though. Okay. This is nice. Not too much poison ivy. All but one tree is alive. Nice and open. Easily. I don't know, that tree's still alive. Easily set my uh, hammock up when I get it. Yeah, I like this spot. So yeah, I think we'll uh, stop and shoot some videos here. Yeah, I hear bugs. Horse flies are everywhere. Yeah, this looks relatively. Poison Ivy free, so yeah, I think this will do. Alright, check out the new pack. Love this thing, I'll put a link in the description. Um, got this uh, Shimag, Shimag, I don't remember how to pronounce it. Got this from uh, Jack of Trades, these things are extremely useful, bandages, uh, you can make char cloth out of them, uh, help filter water, uh, bandana to help keep the sweat out of your eyes and the bugs from biting your head, uh, a brace, everything. So it's really cool he sent me this. Um, I recommend getting one. Uh, see what else? I brought uh, my Ryan Outdoors tortilla soup uh, camping meal. We're going to have that for lunch. Um, my knife, my bear spray just in case. And uh, it is a hot one today. It is 96 degrees out. So, holy cow. I brought about a uh, gallon or so of water. Because um, we're just so drought stricken right now. It's amazing how, how low the water is. But uh, we're going to use our foot to get a fire pit dug. Because I did not bring a shovel or an axe or anything like that. So we'll have to break wood and all that fun jazz. So... I'll get back to you here in just a minute. <laughs> First thing we're going to do is clear all this duff, is what they call this. This stuff is uh, super dry and it'll actually smolder underneath. So. Get as much of that cleared as possible. And I don't need a really big fire either. Okay, we're down to the clay. There we go. I just need big enough to boil some water for lunch. Hmm, somebody seems to think I made that for her. Goofy dog. Alright, here should be all the wood we're gonna need. Some good maple, it looks like. It's a little, little rotten. There we go. This should be more than enough. I'll get some uh, smaller stuff here to get the, uh, for tender. There's some right over there. And then uh, I'm gonna show you guys a neat little trick how to start a fire. I'm gonna show you guys a cool little trick. go on uh, different fire starting techniques one of them includes some steel wool and a 9 volt battery now this is a pretty well-known trick but not everybody does know it 
So we've got some steel wool in here, which doesn't take a whole lot. There we go. And some cotton swabs. Dub C sent me this uh, little kit here. So I'm going to do that. Let's set these cotton swabs to the side for now. But there's the steel wall. There's a 9 volt battery. I'll process this cotton. This is 100% cotton uh, balls, too. Not those cheap ones that you get. I'm sweating. So we'll get those all broke up. That should be everything we need. So I'm going to ziplock this bag back up and not keep these in the same spot. You can also use a lighter or a fire steel to get that going. But uh, we're going to do the old 9 volt battery trick. A lot of you probably learned this in school. And some of you might not have. Ooh. Yeah, that works. <laughs> so there's that. Get all my fine tender broke up and ready to go on the fire. All right. There we go. Oops. Perfect. That worked amazingly. Fire going now. That's actually something good to have in your little survival pack, your EDC, whatever it's called. Sure this fire is completely out too before we leave. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, but I'm gonna save that piece. Here's the Ryan Outdoors Camping Meal Tortilla Soup, which you guys can go to allmres.com and get these. Use discount code RYAN10, 10% off your entire order. So, Alright, here's the uh, new logos, or labels rather. So you just add uh, 10 ounces of boiling water to the Mylar bag shake and let stand for 15 minutes. So we need to get 10 ounces of water going real quick. There's 10 ounces. Eight ounces, so right in between there. Should be, that's eight ounces. That should be about 10 ounces. There we go. There, we'll get that going real quick. You get uh, your spoon, all that fun jazz, some crackers. There also is a FHR or FRH, flameless ration heater. Yeah, <laughs> I always get that. 
to select the cat. But uh, didn't use that. Uh, orange flavored drink, which I will be having. You get a regular cheese spread, a jalapeno cheese spread, a uh, vanilla pound cake, and some uh, white wheat snack bread, which is awesome. So, that stuff back in there. Don't need this yet. I'll save that. These are, or will get hot enough to boil water. Cook eggs and everything with them. All right, that's uh, gonna get going there. Whew, it is a barn burner today. <laughs> but um, yeah, <coughs> brought my long sleeve out here. Hi, puppy dog. Hi, puppy dog. You want some water? Ah. Here, just come back. I'll get you some water in just a second. Here, lay down. You're acting like a spaz, you wouldn't be so hot. All right, come on, get down. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, I wore long sleeve and, and, uh, full pants and everything because I am severely allergic to poison ivy. And I, uh, developed something, um, with, uh, <laughs> I developed something to, uh, actually, uh, help, uh, treat poison ivy. So if you are, uh in contact with poison ivy you've got about an hour to get the oil off of you um to help uh treat and prevent a uh a rash from forming and it also helps if it's too late and you do form a rash this will also help uh with the itching and the oozing and stuff like that and the spread of it because what happens is the oil actually absorbs into your skin and if you itch it you'll spread that spread that oil and everything so um, I developed this really cool product to uh, help treat that, and I'll show you what that is. Introducing the new and one and only uh, Ryan Outdoors uh, Poison Ivy Wipes. So um, here's the directions. If you think you've brushed up against Poison Ivy, rub the area with a Ryan Outdoors Ivy Wipe as soon as possible. This is an effective way to remove Eurocio. It's a hard word to pronounce. <laughs> uh, from the skin and help minimize discomfort. Always bring Ryan Outdoors Ivy Wipes with you when you go hiking or camping so you can utilize the effective treatment. All right, demonstrate how well these work and how much I believe in them. Here's some poison ivy. I'm rubbing it on my arm. There you go. And I'll, uh, I'll upload some pictures, too, of uh, how bad of a reaction I normally have to poison ivy. So, I open up the Mylar bag, pull the wipe out. And these are big. They're uh, 7 by 10, I believe. Heavy duty, biodegradable. And you just wash the area. Any part of you that you think you've had contact with the poison ivy, including your fingers, your hands, God forbid if you got it on your face. There you go. So um, these are gonna go on pre-sale and sale for uh, $8.99. That includes free shipping. Um, I'm also hoping to get these in stores. But uh, so yeah, I designed the front logo and uh, Dove C helped me design the back logo. Um, pretty much he did it by himself and I really appreciate that brother. But it's got all the drug facts and everything on it. There's a little QR code you can scan. Um, to follow me on my YouTube channel and stuff. So yeah, uh, pre-order yours today. I'm hoping to have these for sale on my website in the next couple of days. Um, and I will also uh, 
figure out some other way to get these so so Ryan Outdoors Ivy Wipes so I'm gonna get the soup going here that water is uh, boiling always remember to pull out the after dinner mint and I'm gonna go ahead and pour 10 ounces of boiling water in there and be careful the package does get hot Try to squeeze as much air out of there as possible. Give it a good shake. And then just let it set. Okay, while well, we're waiting for the... Uh, soup to uh, turn into soup we're gonna mix up this uh, orange beverage in my cup here Let's see 12 ounces of water it says I'm gonna do 10 just because spoon I love these kits too because they come with the awesome spoons and uh, yeah they're awesome that's good <laughs> all right soup is done squeeze this uh, jalapeno cheese spread in there it's a uh, all-time favorite and uh, we'll save the crackers let's get some of this uh, wheat snack bread put a little bit of this in there Okay, I guess Dakota's getting a piece. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Spoon. Gotta stir all that around. Perfect. I'm going to let that sit for just a little bit longer. And take the regular cheese spread and put it on the rest of this bread. good oh, that is so good mm. reconstituted perfectly um, definitely a great hot meal to have um, Winter camping, these are fantastic. Spring, fall, summer, any time of the year, these are fantastic. Go to allmres.com, pick one up today. 10% off your entire order, Ryan 10. So, 
I'm going to enjoy this. Mm. That was delicious. Very filling. I don't actually have room for the vanilla pound cake, so we're going to save that for another trip. All right, we are uh, heading back. First thing I want to do is wipe everything off my hands. I may have touched. And we are heading back. Fire is completely out. I triple checked that. So, let's hike on out of here. Let's see if we can... I'm going for that. Yeah, anyways, yeah. Poison ivy, poison ivy, poison ivy. Hey, hey, hey. Go this way. There's no real defined trail. Guessing a lot of people don't come here. A big old dead tree. Uh, let's go this way. Get back to the air conditioning. Oh, garter snake. Where'd he go? Fast little bugger. Huh. Alright, well, I'll swing. There he is. That thing's fast. If I'll be able to get him on film or not. Yeah, he's he's going way too fast. Maybe I can. Where's he at? There he is. And there he goes. <laughs> Okay, let's continue on our journey. Those big old trees, big oak trees. Uh, let's go this way. Oh. What I mean by no real defined trail. Cool, there is a birch tree here. Get some birch bark. We're almost back to the marshy stuff. Wasn't sure how dry it was going to be, so... Actually planned on hiking quite a ways through woods like this. And, uh... Deer trail. I would have came out. There we go. There's a deer bed. Huh. Anyways, I would have came out over there. Um, but actually found a little kind of like trail trail. To the edge of the marsh. 
but I kind of want to check this out over here. Maybe there's a more well defined trail. Doesn't look like it. No, that's pretty, pretty overgrown just like the island. So, we're gonna walk this way. Grass comes up to my chest. Wait to get back to the AC. Brush hog would be nice. <laughs> so much hotter in this grass too. It really holds the. Uh... Stop take a breather. Holy smokes! It. Uh... Oh my god! This uh, grass really holds the humidity and heat. People might think, hey, it's uh, not going to be as hot. Oh, it is. It's actually hotter. Holy cow! <laughs> a nice little hike back there. A great spot for future camps. Chipmunk along, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, water for her back at the Jeep. Come on. thing I'd like to do is eventually get a snowmobile because uh, I got that hot tent that was sent to me and the wood stove and everything I got that heavy duty jet sled my dad sent to me and uh, 
I actually plan on getting an electric chainsaw to bring with to help out during the winter time processing wood. Some people might think it's cheating. I just think it's smart. So, actually, a pretty nice spot in there to camp. But uh, yeah, so um, another cool thing to get would be a chainsaw, or uh, sorry, a snowmobile. Not anything brand new and fancy, just something that can pull all my gear and me, because. I don't know if they leave it open out here during the summertime or not, but I know there's uh, lots of trails and spots to uh, go camping at. It'd be uh, really fun. Oh, look how it's hot. Mention that yet? <laughs> so, yeah, future dreams. Time would be nice too because it won't be so dang hot and uh, melt some snow stuff. I won't have to bring water with. Oh. And the bears will be hibernating. That's a good dog. Even when she explores, there's a bunch of a bunch of blackberries gonna be right there. That's awesome. Like some uh, fresh blackberry muffins or something with that uh, steam bake oven kit I got from Packet Gourmet. There's the goofy dog. So, there's the Jeep. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, this is Ryan in Dakota with Ryan Outdoors. And we'll catch you next time. It is a hot one. Holy smokes. All right, we'll see you guys next time.